and where it means anything good. Black is the extreme and complete opposite of the word white. It means almost everything that no sane human being would want to be identified with as being themselves. The irony that I have found is that what I'm saying to you is nothing new. And that is well known um, that it is well known among some of our most highly respected and erroneously called black leaders. Some of the erroneously called black religious leaders, black community leaders, political leaders, erroneously called judiciaries, black judiciaries and media commentators, entertainers, educators, scientists. But the regrettable thing is that they are all directly or indirectly on the system's payroll. Some of them have become a part of the conspiracy of the big black lie and consequently they do not want their followers and admirers to know because then they would lose their systems elitist status and political connections, their elitist title and mediatory positions along with the many perks and financial benefits that come with it. Now, can you imagine for a moment where many of our erroneously called black leaders would find themselves tomorrow if today we should start getting rid of this error and downright lie? Many of their organizations would crumble because there would be no need for this black and white issue or should I say this concocted black and white issue to fight for or against anymore. Many would be out of business. So what color should we, the erroneously called black people, call ourselves. We are earthlings, my friends. We are earthlings and Mother Nature's children, and we come in all shades, color, and beauty, if you will. <coughs> my message to you is that we stop calling ourselves black and stop allowing or accepting the appellation and curses when others call us black. Let us now start a campaign to drop the word black completely from our minds and vocabulary and that of the dictionaries, the alien systems government profiling records such as the police profiling records, census, birth certificates, uh, marriage certificates and documents, the entertainment and media industry, etc. Let us drop the word black completely from our vocabulary when describing speaking, implying, or referring to us erroneously called black people, and particularly those of us who are direct African, who are of direct African descent. And let us simply call ourselves Africans and insist that all others do the same. That is, let them call us Africans. And even though the etymology of the word Africa is not certain, but to the best of my knowledge, it does not mean black, but it means a name that was given to a continent that some say was once called al kibulan So if you truly want a name or a word to describe and identify your physical appearance and your proud ancestry without invoking a curse or any form of controversy, and a name or word that resonate with, with, with freedom, blessings, riches, richness, wealth, strength, greatness, originality, fer fertility, spirituality, prosperity, beauty, history, longevity, variety, language, culture, agriculture, modern nature, and the list goes on and on and on. Here we have it, 
my friends, Africa and Africans. Let us stop giving away our power, strength and blessing to those who may not be deserving of it or may not have earned it while accepting their curses. And let us keep things equal and neutral among ourselves as the one human family. If we lift up others in praise, give them the opportunity to lift us up also. However, if you are satisfied with what you are getting by calling yourselves black and calling others white, then keep on doing what you are doing. In the meantime, if you think that I deserve to be called white, I humbly beg that you do so. But please don't call me black. Call me African. In closing, please allow me to paraphrase one of Bob Marley's song for justice, equal rights, and peace. For until the color of a person's skin is of no, no more significant than the color of his or her eyes, there will be no peace among our humanity. I am the mystic philosopher. Please stay tuned for another perspective when I will expose another of the biggest lies that the world has ever been told. And thanks very much for listening and for watching.